The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Thomas Tayewa, has said that it will be unfortunate for Parliament to censure the Honorable Minister Pasis Namuganza without first notifying her boss, President Museveni, in writing. Tayewa said he's going to write to President Museveni with all the signatures and all the supporting documents attached. I write to the President to inform his minister that Parliament intends to censure the minister, clearly showing the grounds the signatures and supporting documents. However, some members of parliament did not agree with the idea of first notifying President Museveni on the matter. Now, with the hands of the president, do I defy uh, the, 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 the signatures of the members who have unanimously agreed that the Namugaza should go? For me, I'm happy that we still have a chance to redeem this parliament. Now, President Museveni yesterday said Facebook will be fully reopened in Uganda if they stop playing games. Facebook remained blocked from Uganda two years after its operations were suspended ahead of the 2021 general elections. Facebook were Facebook were arrogant. They, they, they were being used to attack us. When our own people used it to answer back, they were shut out. You remember? That's where the, the quarrel started. Now, the Catholic Church, through the chairman of the Episcopal Coffers, Anthony Ziwa, has called upon President Museveni's government to return all the missing and abducted people back to their families. And if they have cases to answer, they should be taken to courts of law and be charged, but not keeping them in illegal detention centers. <laughs> Barumwa, <laughs> Now, former top minister in President Museveni's government, Al Haj Abdul Naduli, has said that he's not going to endorse President Museveni for another term in office until serious issues in his government, like the human rights violations, abductions, and corruption, among others, have been worked upon. Naduli said this week during the celebrations of his 80th birthday. <laughs> Now, Serere Woman Member of Parliament, Horrible Helen Ado, also the Minister of Fisheries, gave birth to bousing twin girls. The news come at a time the district is mourning the death of Horrible Patrick Okabe, who is going to be laid to rest today. She said she delivered normally on Wednesday last week and uh, she was discharged on Sunday and on Monday she woke up to the sad news of the death of Horrible Okabe and uh, his wife. Otherwise, congratulations to you, Horrible Helen Ado. And finally, Kawempe North Hospital, founded by Horrible Muhammad Segrinya, has been closed. 
The managers of the hospital say they are experiencing financial constraints as Segrinya Muhammad has been in prison on murder charges since September 2021, just three months after the hospital was opened. The facility offered free services. Access Laina ne equipment is confiscated by URA, the area data Mugwanga, Okuri ultrasound scan, the theater equipment. However, some members of the public have said that Bobby Wine's NUP party shouldn't have allowed the facility to reach to this point of closure. At least they should have supported in one way or the other. I don't know what the spokesperson of the party, Horrible Joel Senyunyi, is going to say about this comment, but uh, it's a big concern from some members of the public. Well, that's it for now on the Buzz UG, and uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Christmas is just around the corner, and uh, of course, right here, I wish you a Merry Christmas. And of course, 2023 is also around the corner. Otherwise, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you.